Manchester United versus Watford match preview. Massive game for United here. Looking to get another win in the Premier League on their hunts for top four after the 1 1 draw with Atletico Madrid. It's going to be a big game, and I do expect United to easily win this game because, let's be honest, Watford are not the most brightest team in the world right now, are they? And they've got Roy Hodgson, who I'm pretty sure is pushing 80 years old right now. Um, so, yeah, I do believe that this should be a routine Manchester United victory, but you never know because teams look, seem, especially like Watford, they seem to like to start playing like Prime Barcelona against Manchester United. However, here, I do think it will be a good win for United, and this is how I think we should line up. And uh, Before we get into our lineup, Scott McTominay is still out with injury, and so is Edinson Cavani. I've said I said this in the um, match preview against the Clady. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it here, but Cavani needs to get it. Uh, he needs to get it together. He, like he's been out for way too long, and we really do need his backup to Cristiano Ronaldo. Because if Ronaldo if something happens, to Ronaldo, if he's having a bad game, then we don't have Cavani in the bench to come in for him and possibly uh, be that super sub to score a goal. I'll probably have to play Bruno at false nine or bring. Rashford or a line gets striker. It's not really ideal, is it? So Cavani, you really do need to sort it out, and it's getting a wee bit of a joke right now. It's almost seeming like he's doing this on purpose, just to get as much days off as he can. So yeah, it's not looking too good for Cavani at the moment. But McCamley is still injured. That's reasonable enough. But here's how I think Manchester United should line up. Starting off in that stop at the Haya left back Alex Tellez is pretty obvious here. Luke Shaw in the past few games has been awful. And Tellez was pretty good when he came on for, against Atleti. Uh, so yeah, he should be the left back. Right back then, Aaron Mambasaka. Once again, he was excellent when he came on against Atleti. And we really do need to learn from our mistakes. Because why did we not start a right back against Atleti? I believe if we did start right back against Atleti, um, we could have at least um, pushed for a, a better uh, result than that. Other than that, Lindelof, though, at right back, didn't really work. Although he was one of the better players on the pitch. Um, it didn't really work still. Wan Bissaka did come on, though. It was about 20 minutes ago, and he did play pretty good. So, yeah, I'm going to trust him again here in the right-back spot. I'm going to put him over Diogo Dallo in this game and make him the right-back. Two centre-backs in, Rafael Varane, although he didn't have a bright game, that's meaning in Harry Maguire, in my opinion, because he's given Varane too much work, and that's what's putting him under pressure in that game. So, yeah, Maguire's dropped here, by the way. Every time I seem to trust Maguire, he seems to let me down like so. I'm not going to start him again. Until, unless he, he goes in a good run of games. Um, but yeah, I do think Varane should be the first centre-back here. I believe he can have a lot more defensively sound performance here. And then alongside them, we should go Victor Lindelof. Despite him playing at right-back, despite him playing out of position, he's probably the best player he started that game against Atleti. Fair play to Lindelof. He really does need to be um, awarded here. I do think he needs to be rewarded with a start alongside Varane in this game. That should be our back four. Any other back four... Um, it, that, that was the only exception but if you start Shaw or Maguire in that back four it's just going to ruin stuff and well yeah we're probably not going to keep a clean sheet then so yeah if we keep that back four I believe we can keep a clean sheet here against the Hornets now in the midfield I have decided to stick with the three same midfielders that was playing against Atleti and here's why all three of them played pretty bad here's why Fred Lowe, although um he still he wasn't great there in the past few games he has been pretty good and you know he always gives his best for Manchester United so yeah I do believe in McCominay's absence he should start at CDM then the centre mid Paul Pogba although Paul Pogba looked extremely out of his depth about Atleti I do believe here against Watford and coming up against players like Ozan Tufan and Tom Cleverley he should really run the show once again I do expect him to even score a goal in this game too so he should be the centre mid and then Bruno Fernandes playing alongside him. Fernandez still, although he had a bad game, he always seems to get a goal or assist in a bad game. That's what I love about Bruno Fernandez. He always gets him his way into a goal contribution, whether it's a good game or a bad game. I do believe here he'll have an excellent game against Watford. And yeah, I do believe that should be our midfield trio. All three did pretty bad against Atleti, but I do believe all three can be pretty good here against Watford. Next then, at left wing, we're going to go with Rhythm as a dancer, Anthony Alenga. He has been so good for Manchester United. Past two games, he scored two goals. I believe Alenga scoring that goal has bought us some time. I believe by scoring that goal, I do believe now that we can go through in the Champions League. I do believe um, in a rock and old Trafford, he and um, he will do good and the team will do good. And we will go through winners against Atletico in the second leg. I, and I do believe it's all down to that goal. You know, we played pretty bad away at Atleti. If we lost that game 1-0, then it would have been really slim chances. Although not too slim, it still would have been slim. So yeah, I've got to thank Alanga for that uh, draw. It's pretty much, I'm pretty much acting like it's a win here. But yeah, I do believe it is a win because I do believe we'll go through because of it. Alanga here hopefully can score another goal. So yeah, that's hope that 
He starts out in the left instead of Marcus Rashford, who, let's be honest, has been really poor recently. Right wing, Jadon Sancho. Now, sadly, we didn't see a lot of Sancho in the Champions League. That's He didn't get the ball too much. That's bad, you know. But well, here against... Uh, where, uh, uh, sorry, at home against his um, former boyhood club, I do believe here that he can have another great and influential performance. I mean, he's coming up against Hassan El Kamara at left back. I'm pretty sure he can put in another great shift. So yeah, I believe he should be the right winger. And then starting up at striker, then Cristiano Ronaldo. It seems like one of those games where Ronaldo will not score a goal. But then again, I thought that the Brighton game and well, would you look at that, he was amazing. He scored a goal, he scored a brilliant goal and that. So yeah, I do believe he, he mightn't score here. But I do believe he can be an influential member of the squad if he does start this game. So yeah, up top, I think we should start Cristiano Ronaldo. And that's the end of the video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, share and subscribe and turn on notifications. And thank you all for supporting the channel once again. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in my very next video.